and welcome to Visions 2020. This year, our celebration of Asian Pacific American Heritage Month comes amidst a challenging time for our community. The unprecedented COVID-19 pandemic has unleashed another virus, the virus of hate. He just hit me right in the face and he like knocked me pretty much unconscious. Kylan Nguyen says he was crossing the street when a dispute with a driver escalated. What exactly did this person say to you? He told me, F you motherfucker, coronavirus. He called you the coronavirus? Yes. Six weeks later, Nguyen says it's still hard to talk, still a struggle to feel safe. I am afraid to go out, even I am afraid of calling Uber. I've been in this neighborhood for 16 years and I've never had any kind of racial slur. So Alice Long was shocked last month by the ugly word spray painted on her restaurant. It said chink, so that was just heartbreaking. We would think that people would spread more love and more caring and more kindness. But instead, we get people that are angry. <laughs> this video of a local college student was posted on social media. I think we should put something in the DNA, because when you turn 13, you just die. So it's like a quinceanera, but it's death. I was kind of upset. On two occasions in early March, middle school students Jawa and Jamin Gong say they were harassed near the Spring Garden subway station. It was something about the coronavirus. and like, do you have your mask on or something? Just because we look Chinese doesn't mean we have the coronavirus. The impact of the Chinese virus. We didn't see the spike in anti-Asian violence until President Trump started saying Wuhan virus, China virus. And researchers have found a corresponding uptick in online bullying. A leap of around 900% on Twitter. The virus of hate is scapegoating the Asian American Pacific Islander community as the ones that brought about the coronavirus, and that's not true. In just one month, Stop AAPI Hate received nearly 15 hundred reports of racist incidents across the country directly linked to COVID-19. Unfortunately, there's a long history of anti-Asian racism. Rob Busher has curated an exhibit called American Peril, Faces of the Enemy, in an effort to educate. The conversation that people were having about the Muslim American community or the Mexican American community in 2015 were the same conversations that people were having about the Chinese American community in the 1880s or Japanese Americans in the 1940s. Busher's diverse collection of anti-Asian propaganda dates back to the 19th century, when Chinese immigrants working on the railroads were blamed for dropping wages and fewer jobs. We have to kind of look at this as so many groups being targeted with the same techniques. How can we then overcome that together? There are more stuff coming. The Asian American community is working on it. We are part of the cure, not part of the problem. We are not a virus. Local AAPI schools, nonprofits, and businesses have donated tens of thousands of masks and other personal protective equipment to first responders and healthcare workers. Hope everybody see what we're doing. Lean the hand out. Together we can do more. Local filmmaker Chris Mendoza is calling on the creative community to contribute. The initiative seeks to create one million masks. Faces of the Cure, started by a Penn alum, highlights Asian American healthcare heroes. God bless and even as Asian American restaurateurs now struggle to survive, they are supporting others in need. Indonesian restaurant Hardinia donating hundreds of boxes of food to medical workers. I feel good and knowing that I nourish them for a day. We're gonna like bring them some lunch and cheer them up. Back at Soy Cafe, Alice Long is donating food and spreading positivity. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Lehigh Valley native turned Hollywood heavyweight Daniel Day Kim is using his celebrity to speak out. Please stop the prejudice and senseless violence against Asian people. It seems at least some are getting the message. The freshman in this video has apologized for her remarks. President Trump has stopped using the term Chinese virus. Yeah, it's very important that we totally protect our Asian American community in the United States and all around the world. They're amazing people, 
and the spreading of the virus is not their fault in any way, shape, or form. I do think that this has the potential to unite the Asian American community because the reality is it doesn't matter if you're Chinese, Japanese, Vietnamese, Filipino, you could be that victim. Busher and others are also optimistic this can be a teachable moment for all communities. Not just to combat anti-Asian racism, but to work together towards a number of other progressive goals. We have to stand in solidarity with the Asian American Pacific Islander communities. This virus of hate, it moves. Next month, it may be someone else. The Pennsylvania Human Relations Commission is urging victims to file complaints and take advantage of resources available to them. You can find those links on 6abc.com visions. And there is, of course, a financial toll to come.